All right, everyone. Welcome to the Faces of Business. I'm Damon Postalka, and with me today, I've got Bonnie Sussman Strominger. So, Bonnie, welcome. Thank you. Happy to All be right. here, Damon. Awesome. Awesome. Glad to have you. So, um, I just have to say, Bonnie, it's awesome to get you on. I'm a little nervous because you're so good at video and I'm such a hack that it's <laughs> It's interesting to be, you know, it's to be in this situation, but glad to have you. You are not, you are not a hack. Let me tell you, I can't believe <laughs> how many shows you guys actually do. Yeah, we Pretty do a amazing. fair amount and we, we have fun with them, but we really honestly um, play it by ear a lot of the time. So it's good. Yeah, you, guys it's are, good. you guys are brave. I mean, we, we do a lot of video, but it's, it's, it's different than what you do. You know, you do lives, you have guests, you have a format, you've got questions. For us, it's more, yeah, I mean, I do some video, obviously, but yeah, the other stuff, you know, I don't have to come on. It's just, yeah. uh, it's just a crazy lid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving around. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited to have you on, Bonnie, because I think it's really cool to see what you've done with a, with a product that some people would look at it and go, what the heck are you using video for? You know, and, and yeah. you really used it well in, in some of the different ways. So I'm excited to to be able to dive into that a little bit more and go into the background, you know, and 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 just kind of say start back at the beginning or even further back and give us a little bit of history about you and your background and kind of you know how that led up to you how, deciding how did, this, how did all this happen? Yeah, because I get here. I mean, Go leds. I mean, how did how did that come out of this background and stuff? So go ahead, tell us a little more. If uh, I'll dive back, I mean, really, back to my early business days, you know, corporate days. Yeah, I was in fashion for ten years. I was in real estate for ten years, and it was always of a creative nature. You know, when mm -hmm. I was in fashion, I was coordinating lines and we were always putting a creative spin on everything that we did when it came to real estate much of the same you know selling real estate you can't just walk in and show someone a five million dollar home and say this is it yes you know you've got to get in there and ask a lot of questions and ask the right questions and mm -hmm. kind of give them a vision of what is it going to look like? You know, a lot of people don't have that. So when they walk in, you have to paint a beautiful picture of what that home will look like when all your furniture is in and your family is there, rounded up, watching a movie together. How do we feel here? That's not easy to do. So I always had that creative urge and that, that bug to, you know, get in there and dissect and that's where my mind has always been at really like my whole life so i'm that person that has a pad it's actually it's right in front of me yeah next right to my bed constantly if i think of something it doesn't matter what hour i will wake up put the page to a clean page and start writing down because you know in the morning you wake up it's gone yes so you have to do it the second you think of it and I always tell people that when they ask me about creating and an idea and whether it be an invention or an idea for something else, a different type of business, in that moment, when it, when the mood strikes, you need to capture that moment. You need to sit down, write it as much as you can. You know, you ever send an email to yourself about oh, yeah. a post idea that you had? Yeah. You know, at one o'clock in the morning? Because you know that if you don't, so many details of what you thought of, they're going to fade away. So I always had this urge for that, for the creative imagination. And I, I think some part of me always knew I was going to wind up here mm -hmm. somehow. I, I don't know if I knew it was going to be with this, yes. <laughs> but I knew that I would wind up in a creative space Somehow, as an entrepreneur, be it, you know, after college, I actually went to a lot of uh, magazines 
I wanted to get on their creative teams mm -hmm. and uh, get into the advertising kind of branding marketing space and really hard when you get out of school for someone to give you an opportunity. Yeah. You know, where you're not the coffee girl, you know, you're yeah. not, you and you're not, you have to pay your dues. Obviously nobody just comes out and lands on this team as a yeah. major player, but at the same time, it's, it's a long road. You know, if you go to like an ad agency back then, and we're talking the nineties, dating myself a little bit, a lot maybe. Um, but it, it's a, it's a long road before That's you true. actually have a chance at running a campaign or yeah. being on that team. So it didn't really work out for me in that space. And then that's when I got into fashion because at least, you know, I could, that's a different type of field. You can really get in there and get pretty involved pretty quickly. Okay. Cool. So that's, you know, that's my background. And I was thriving in both careers. There was really no reason for me to step out per se. Both were successful, both thriving. Both kind of started here and climbed the ladder to get to a much higher place. Yeah, and uh, you know, so it wasn't it wasn't a bad place to be. It just wasn't my happy place, you know. If that makes mm -hmm. any sense. Oh, it makes total I, sense. I didn't I didn't feel like I was growing and and living the way I wanted to have my life be. So now I'm going to take you back to the idea for GoLids and this happens in the 90s and that's what a lot of people don't know. Um, I've shared it on a bunch of podcasts but it's it's an easy detail to miss. Uh, it was back in 90s. I was in Arizona at getting my, my uh, bachelor's degree and I went to a bad movie on a bad date and the, 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 this idiot guy gave me you know, popcorn and soda and candy and hot dogs and everything to carry. The me now, the me now would have taken it and thrown it back at him and said, "Yeah, you take yeah. it. Why am I carrying everything? But I did and I was overdressed. You know, now I go to the movies with my husband. We go in jeans and sneakers, you know, casual, relaxed and comfortable. Mm -hmm. I was wearing a dress, had on heels. I, I don't know why. Don't ask. <laughs> Young and stupid, I guess. Uh, long story short, we get in the theater. I'm 5'10", barefoot. So with heels, I'm six feet. Once we got in, I knew I was going to go over. And you always have that man sitting in the row who's got the knees that are as high as the seat in front of him. Mm -hmm. There's always one guy that's like, he's gigantic, like six, six, ten, seven feet tall. Yeah. I have to climb over to get into the middle of the row. And that's what happened. He was there. <laughs> we didn't have any seats. Uh, of course, the date that asked you to carry everything, of course, he didn't have seats. Yeah. And we climbed over and I tripped on this man's knee and everything. Everything went over. I mean, the lids came off the sodas, the popcorns exploded, the candy opened up, the hot dogs went flying. I mean, when I tell you what I did to two rows of people, and I fell. So I was on the floor, this sticky theater yeah. floor. Yeah, you know, theater your feet, floor. Your feet stick to the cheeky yeah, pieces that are on floor. the ground. Yeah. I wanted to die. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I, I was hurt. I actually landed on my elbow. I hit my face. But I didn't know if I should cry or just die. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I had to actually get up and get in the seat. The movie was starting in like four minutes. So... I sat there the whole time and I kept thinking, this is outdated. It shouldn't have happened. I should have had some leverage, you know, mm -hmm. with something. But I, instead of this gigantic tray and stuff under my arms, and I just sat there thinking about it. And I thought, that's all I thought. I had no idea what it was going to be. I just said, these should be connected. And not in a, not in a flimsy kind of manner, like connected. Like yeah. literally connected, can't shake them off. Did you see our video last night? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll explain. I'll explain how that came to be. Um, 
it's actually a, a challenge by a brand and uh and we took it because there's a lot of things about the product that could be misconstrued in a video video can also make a lot of things look a certain way that mm -hmm. potentially are not that way yeah so the best way to debunk that is to be flat out honest about it yeah and you know you you can't really hide this yeah there's no way to fake that yeah i would you know? be i would be scared doing that right now and, and yeah I, every <laughs> every time we do it on zoom calls the other side is like oh no 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 don't do yeah, it i'm just getting nervous watching you to do that you know i had your kids. computer it's right there your computer yeah yeah you know you can't fake it unless you're like crazy glued it together which yeah we would not do obviously yeah exactly. um so that was it i left college i drew it i sketched it i named it a very strange name that obviously not go lids and i moved on with my life and the reason i say that is because and i tell this to people all the time when you're creating i think you have to be very cognizant of if it's a nice to have or you're actually solving a problem and if it's nice to have, that's great, but mm -hmm. nice to have is not, uh, it's not the sweet spot yeah. being in the nice to have place. So I don't think I thought it was as necessary as it became. You know, we weren't that mobile then, our mm -hmm. lifestyles, grab and go. We, we, we didn't even use those words back in yeah. the 90s. There was no on the go, grab and go take out off premises like we didn't even speak nobody spoke that way so you're right yeah and we you know we didn't have this yeah so you hadn't given your hand away yet to steve jobs yeah and then exactly it said this wasn't stuck in your hand exactly and you know i knew i knew one guy that had a phone in a suitcase he was the only person on campus we were friends with him, but we made fun of him because we were like, Who, no one's calling you. No one is calling you. He would walk around with this suitcase and little did we know, I mean, he came from a well-off family and he had access to one of the really early phones that came like that. Yeah. And But we thought he was a pop, you know, he was pompous, you know? Yeah. I think we were just jealous that we didn't have a phone too, but, <laughs> but it was bizarre. I was like, look at that idiot. He's walking around with a phone. Like someone's actually going to dial that phone number. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, everything shifted. Yeah, um, uh, 2007, well, 2000, the Motorola flip phone, which yep. my husband laughs at me all the time because I had one. And I got so attached to the phone and the, the, the texting. Mm -hmm. I didn't want this. He, when, when I met my husband in 2008, when we met, he's like, what are you holding right now? <laughs> is, that, is that a Motorola flip phone? He was, he's like, we have to go to the store. Like that has to go in the garbage. You need to get one of these. Um, yeah, I wound up having a Blackberry, which, you know, well, where did they go? Yeah. That's a that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic on a whole nother podcast. Yeah. Um but I just I got addicted to it, but I also got addicted just having it in your hand. But the thing is, before this came out, that Motorola flip phone or whatever version that you had, it wasn't essential. It rang, you could text, but you didn't need it in your hand all day. You had it somewhere in your pocket with yeah. you. Uh, in the bag, but it wasn't like constant access. Now it's constant access. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, I do more business on my phone. Not gonna kid. I mean, my emails, LinkedIn, everything on here, it's constant on my phone. I'm on my laptop about twenty to thirty percent of the time, if that. You yeah. know, and that's really more for work and and spreadsheets and contracts you know stuff that needs to be up on the screen yeah yeah but emailing and everything else is is this and that's when i realized that this is now an inconvenience 
and everyone's walking around with them. And as you know, you know, convenience like you are now, just like you are now, that's I just think, like you are now like and, that. But you think about this and I realized it in my own day. And that's really what happened is I had this revelation. I kept going to Starbucks, Duncan, all the typical places we all go to that we all love to go. That's part of our day. And I realized how many people were getting off the line that had this in their hands and they were passing, you know, either they were passing on the food, passing on the beverage, because with this, without this, you, you have a bag. Yeah. Now you got packages with you. What if you have a child or a stroller? Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what you've got? I mean, we all lug our stuff around like we're a bunch of bellhops. So, you know, luggage, who knows? You're going, going to the airport, you're coming back from the airport. Yeah. And you realize that it does affect all the decisions that you make. And as time has gone on, we realize that the role convenience plays in our world, it, it dominates everything we do. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a reason why Jeff Bezos is Jeff Bezos. Mm. Amazon is Amazon, Uber, everything is focused on how fast and how easy can you make it for me? How, yeah. how much easier can my life get? 5% easier, 10% easier, but anything easier and they'll pay for it. Consumers will pay. We pay every day for convenience. Yes. You know, I, we were laughing earlier. I said, you know, I said to someone, who did I say to? I forget, but let's say you order Taco Bell into your house, right? Yeah. By the time you get done paying the fees, when that chalupa shows up, yeah. it's, it's it's like a $25 chalupa. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Taco Bell anymore. It's mm -hmm. Taco Gourmet. It's the service charges, the delivery fees, the tip that, mm -hmm. that yeah. I hope everyone gives. Yeah. You know, we, we try to tip really nice, especially yeah, yeah. You know, these yeah. guys are out there, you know, making it impossible for you to have your favorite snack. But yeah, exactly. it's a fortune and people pay for it. Yeah. And they don't I mean, pay twice. Yeah. A hundred percent. Because just like you said, you run down amazon with the the prime getting stuff in a couple days it was so huge for them to go to one day on as much as they could before you know COVID hit but getting to that and and like doordash and uber eats and all these other ones that can deliver food and you do you look at it and you go i got a ten dollar meal here from my local mexican restaurant because i really needed the nachos and it costs you like 30 bucks by the time it sits down so and, um, and you know you think about the 30 dollars that yeah you could you potentially you could go out hey ira hey ira you could go out to a restaurant uh you could have a steak yes you know you can have something delicious i'm not saying that the food's not good that's coming to your house but sometimes you just you get the food and you look at the bill and you're like this is crazy this mm -hmm. is takeout it's not supposed to be so expensive but yeah. that convenient element that convenience is what sets the bar for everything. And it goes on for takeout. It goes on for delivery. And now the drive-thru. I mean, the yes. drive-thru, that is the focus of every conversation that we're having all day, every day. Uh, mm -hmm. Brands that want to be the best drive-thru out there. Like every mm -hmm. little thing, what can we do to make it better, make it better, make it better, and we have to we have to note the fact that yes they want to make it better they want to make it as convenient po as possible but not at the expense of crushing their bottom line mm -hmm. so they want to sell what more of this yeah more combos you know they want to make sure that no one leaves without food and beverage yes you don't come for just this and you don't come for just this you come for both because we make it easy for you to say yes and you take it, goes, you know, through the window, cup holder, everyone's got their own, everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, so now it's a win-win situation because you've got loyal consumers, happy, happy. You're taking care of them and they know that you're taking care of them. So that brand loyalty, that brand experience can't even be elevated any higher 
you know, you keep setting that bar. Yes. And you make them feel good, especially now. Yep. They're yours for life. Yeah, that's for sure. That's and they'll for never sure. forget you, right? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we've got a couple people. Chris Webb stopped by and he said, well said, Bonnie. Hey, Chris. Uh, awesome, Chris. Chris is up here in the Northwest with us. And Dr. Sandeep, and I'm not going to try to say your last name, but thanks thanks for the comments there. Thanks for the nice comment. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that is that is, it's interesting because when I'm sitting here thinking about that, so first of all, let's go back to the strange name that you came up with first. What did you try to name the product first? Come on, you got to tell us. All right, this, this, there's, there's the story, and then there's an even funnier part of the story. I'm gonna have to nip and tuck the story a little bit okay. <laughs> to really share the real story of what happened. So when I walked out of the theater, I named it Soda Snack. Soda Sack. Okay. Soda, soda Snack. Soda Snack. Okay. Soda Snack. All Stupid. Right. I don't know I, for what reason. That's I don't know. Thing. That's the first thing that came in your mind. I was I was thinking soda snack mess soda snack. Yeah. yeah. I walked around all four years of college. All my friends, they're like, "Could you find soda snack? We could use that right now. This is really inconvenient. We need soda snack." <laughs> and it was like a big joke. They're like, "Bonnie, do you have any soda snacks left?" I'm like, "I think we're all out." I was like a big joke that I named it that, and but everybody knew that I thought of it and that I named it. Yeah. Fast forward to 2012 when we actually, you know, launched. Well, we didn't launch. Founded. Founded yeah. and launched. Founded. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly didn't launch. We founded it. We founded uh, GoLids in 12. GoLids was not the original name of this company. How do I tell the story <laughs> on a live? Let's see. Okay, I'll be I'll be generic, and I think maybe you'll you'll get. Okay. The interesting part of it. We named it a name. We filed for a registered trademark. We spent a lot of money on that registered trademark. Uh, it's not inexpensive to get that R. No, it's not. Uh, the lawyers, the whole thing. And that's on top of the patents and everything else that had already been filed. Yep. So we finally, we find out. And it was a, it was an interesting name. And I'm not going to say the name for fear that someone's going to go and Google it. Yeah. Uh, and well, someone's probably going to do that anyway, because it takes a long time to abandon a trademark. And well, we, we abandoned a trademark. It's pretty rare that you abandon a trademark, <laughs> but we, we had to file to abandon the trademark. Okay. Um, long story short, we find out uh, as we're in discussion with another organization that the name is associated with something. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> let's just say... <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna end it there. Just gonna end it yeah, right you just, it's like, oh, yeah, we didn't know that. And yeah. and I'm just absolute shock. And you know, when you file for a trademark, you do research. Yeah. So I had looked. We had looked. That's their lawyer. That's the lawyer's job. Yeah. They have to do a search. They didn't come up with anything. I made up a name. I mean, I made it up on paper. I took three words around snacking, uh, nibbling, and drinking, and, and created a word that no one heard of before. So I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. You can't even fathom. And, and I'll tell you, sometimes you got you to gotta put your foot down because yeah. I, was, I was pretty bothered. Uh, when I found out a that it existed, yeah, in, in an urban kind of dictionary way, yeah, <laughs> and and what it stood for, and and that they didn't find it, yeah, that's their job. So if I got cleared, you know, who knew? So this organization was like, listen, uh, let's start here. <laughs> you need to rename your product. Yeah, I'm like, yes, we'll get right. We'll get right on that. Tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> yeah. right away and and that's well that's what we did and so uh and ultimately things work out for the best i can't imagine there being anything but go lids yeah now you know it just seems it's a go lid you know yeah it gives you it gives you the ability to add 
food or beverage because it does you know yeah whatever you're not taking you're adding and uh i think you know we were trying to be like snapple what is yeah. snapple what does it mean nothing mm -hmm. and that's what i think my mind was at the time I was trying to think of this word that meant nothing only something to the people that knew what it meant yeah i don't know I like the name. What would have been nice is if my family and my friends told me that they didn't like the name. I found out later that nobody liked the name. Oh, no. Oh, no. Including the people on this team. So uh -oh. no one wanted to tell me that they thought the name was lousy. And I, I was pushing it so hard. I mean, I have marketing materials, videos. We, we paid money to have oh, no. special things done with the logo. I mean, oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Talk about a waste. But, yeah. but it was a lesson, it really yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. And the lesson was, don't be so quick, especially with a trademark. Make sure <laughs> that you want that trademark. You want to be associated with that name because it's not going to go away for mm -hmm. a while. Um, mm -hmm. And again, we had to, we had to abandon. We had to literally contact the USPTO and disassociate. You know. Yeah. But Google Google caches everything for a very oh, yeah. long time. So you can abandon something all you want. It doesn't mean that Google didn't cache it and it's not in there. Yes. You know, you might have to dig through pages, but eventually it will populate. Yeah. So uh well. Wow. So uh moving on from there, you know, that's we started prototyping and really when you start out you've got little to no resources. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, you can't possibly figure out how this is going to be made. And it's it's a complicated design. I mean, it's it's not what even what it looks like. It starts this way. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 flat and it's got bells and. Yeah, it's it's, it's I used to work in, in plastics, not that kind of plastics, but you, you, the kind of things you're doing there with the okay. um, uh, somehow a call just broke through. OK, Are you still here. I'm here. Damon? I, yep, I'm there. Yep. I can hear you. Did I lose you? You lost my voice. You lost my voice there. So. <laughs> Damon? Difficulties. Damon? Yeah. I see you, but I can't. I can hear you. <laughs> it's it's got to be the logo story. Yeah, it's the logo story. IT? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you though. Not not good. Yeah. Yeah, IT. Yeah, he's got to call the IT in. We're good. We're good. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll keep it going until then. It so through. It dropped. Chris is going to have some. Uh, he's, he's a Chris Chris had a question here while we're doing this, and and they're gonna they're gonna fix it. So, uh, yeah, it's the beauty of live. That's for sure. It is the beauty of live, Chris. So this isn't as bad as the other day. So I'm going to mute her mic, but can you hear me now? No? Can you hear me? Yes. You can hear me. Yes, I can. But I can't hear you. That is correct. I'm pretty sure it's the old trademark I was speaking of. It didn't it like be. it. Coming around <laughs> to bite you again. One that's second. For, that's for sure. Let's see. So. The microphone on there. What? Smaller. So I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to mute her for a second while they're taking care of the technical difficulties. Are you That's back unmuted. there? That's unmuted. Are, back? Are you there? Boom. You hearing us? Okay. One second. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Boom, 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 boom. What do I do? The audio on their side. Not on there. Do I get off the Bluetooth? Not there. there we go. We'll get this figured out. So the other day, Chris asked what happened the other day. The other day I, I don't know what to do. The other day I had a delivery where, where the, the delivery person would not I can't leave. go on his settings. So it was pretty funny. And uh, I actually had to stop for a second and talk to the delivery person through my ring and, and let them know to leave the stuff lie at the front of the house. Cause they kept ringing the doorbell. So that's what happened the other day. It was, it was uh, pretty funny. Live is always good. Those kind of things. So 
Well, do you I want don't to know what to do? Up? I don't know how to. I don't know how to fix this. Okay, just wait. Here we go. A little private chat. Hold on. And what we Ooh, might want to do is have you sign. All right, sign I'm fixing up. this. Okay. Awesome. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna use the private audio chat. default. Real. We'll get this taken care of here shortly. So let me know where you where you're at. It's on Java right now. Let me know where you're you're calling no. you're listening from, and we will talk about that for a minute until Bonnie gets her technical difficulties. Uh, these are bloopers. Yeah, we could call them bloopers, but uh, I don't know. It's a it, some of this stuff is is just kind of normal life, I think. But life is full of bloopers, and that's the fun part. All right. I'm coming back. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm back. There we go. Good. We're here. Okay. So, I um Oh yeah, it just happened. I officially hate my new headphones and I'm never wearing them again. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, you know what? A couple more tries and then you'll be old hat at this. So Oh my god. I, I I haven't had this issue yet. I mean, I've, I've been on a lot of podcasts and I've done a lot of lives, but today um, I got the, you know, my husband. Yeah. And, and my I had awesome husband. He got me a light ring. He got me headset, a whole setup. Um, but this is my first time using these. And after I saw what just occurred, wow. Okay. Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> yeah. No, we were talking, we were talking about Sorry, the everyone. We we're talking about you were just finishing up on the the trademark you you had to leave in the dust, which I think had, that that had to be almost you, you almost had to throw up when somebody said this is what it means. And it was just something I can only imagine. Yeah, this so, is what it means, and and here's the bill. This is what it cost you. Oh my I'm, goodness! I don't know what was worse. I don't know what was more painful: looking at the bill or looking at the definition. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I would just say that I was like, we cannot be in the food and beverage space with that name. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. moving on. Moving on. So Chris did have a question. He said he asked uh the weight distribution. Uh does it cause when the the product on the top gets heavy, does that cause you problems? No, it doesn't actually. That that was uh we put up a video last night, Chris. So if you go to my profile and you pull up posts, you're going to see a wacky presentation. And we did that because we get a lot of questions about weight to drink ratio. And, you know, what happens when the drink starts to go down? Wouldn't it naturally topple right over? And it doesn't. Um, there's a lot of, see, you know, we have a lot of patents, but there's a yeah. lot of food secrets that aren't in the patents. Yeah. Um, that, that, stop that from happening um yeah. and so yeah it's not you know it's not top heavy and even if it was fully loaded i mean we know from now feedback from customers and and their consumers that mm -hmm. you know people typically go for the food first yeah you know when you get food most people don't guzzle the drink and say i'll eat the food at the end yeah that's true that's true you know, most people dive in they really want to they want to eat yeah so it's the drink. Usually there's more drink left than the food. Um, I find when I get takeout or we go to a drive through or you go to Dunkin' or Starbucks, I, I find that I'm hungry. So I mm -hmm. eat, I'm eating quicker than I can drink yeah. this 30 ounce drink. Yeah. You know? And you don't, you know, you don't have to get 30 ounces. We have, we have every size, but, um, but yeah, so no, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't topple cool. and it doesn't go over. Um, it could be knocked over just like anything, you know, could be. Yeah. It also yeah. has a lock in the front. Yep. So that stops this thing from, you know, popping open and just the food goes flying. Yeah. I, I have got to imagine, though, you think about that. And I remember putting the kids in the back seat and then, you know, in whatever vehicle you got, it seems like you've got the center console where you can put the drinks in it. That's got to be awesome for that because otherwise the kid, you know, you're sharing four bags as junk and bags falling on the floor and everything. It's got to work pretty good. It, it really is fantastic. I mean, 
we're we're about to launch e-commerce and uh you know we're gonna be working on all of our seo and yeah. all of that and we're looking at you know keywords and all these things and the car is a major uh player for us you know even on tiktok like we, we we've been on tiktok for about five or six months and i mean i, I can't get over how many views we've amassed in this pretty short window of time i mean yeah it's like let's talk about that a little bit we got on because of video and we've been talking about go lids a little bit let we'll get yeah. back to that and that's because i want to talk about the e-commerce too and talk about that when we get get farther down the road but we got on here because of video and and now we've seen the product we've done that so i'm going to go back how did you decide to do video what did what made you think about hey let's let's video this product and then and then talk about TikTok and what you've learned with that and, and going through the video process. It's such a good, it's really like the best possible question. And I and I think the question that will help anyone out there who has a product or is a manufacturer, um, it's it's the absolute number one best thing to do. And maybe it's not in the forefront to do it especially the way we do it. Um, part of that wasn't planned, which we'll talk about in a minute, but it, it gives it life. That's yeah. really what it And for us, when we started marketing years back on LinkedIn and our early days of marketing were pretty lousy. Um, and that's okay to say, yeah, I think you live and you learn, you know, everyone, ha everyone starts with the first step. That's why I always say to everyone, just get started. Exactly. You are most likely you're going to suck when you start. We all do. Yep. And you live and you learn. And as you get better, you look back on your work. And if it doesn't make you physically ill a little, you didn't do it right. Um, yes. Like when I look at our first prototype, it's right over here. I leave it on my desk as a stark reminder. Um, and, you know, sometimes it makes me a little nauseous. But it's a great reminder of how, much, how little we knew at that stage yes to where we are now so back to video we were posting photos and we were getting a lot of inquiries from brands companies we wanted to hear from but the thing is that you know looking at this in a picture flat yeah there's no dimension yeah so yeah we would show we would shoot some great shots you know We'd, have, we'd hire someone and they would come and shoot great shots in the car, in the cup holder. And it just didn't do it because no one, this is what they didn't see. Yeah. You know, they couldn't imagine what was going on here. Mm -hmm. They couldn't understand how this came to be. Was it in one container? Was it a yeah. package? How does it connect to the thing? Does it come with a cup? I mean, I you know how many messages I got between the years of 2014 to 17? of oh, how much of the lids, how much of the cups. I'm like, we don't sell the cups. We're compatible, 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 that word. And I, I kept saying to myself, God, I wish there was a better way for us to market this product and, and to explain really how does it work and what does it do and, and why is it so innovative? You know, yeah. we've, we've yeah. created this. And LinkedIn didn't have video then. Yeah. Then LinkedIn you know, video starts rolling out. Now, if you weren't the first in the first tier, second tier, third tier, fifth tier to get it, that was it. It's kind of like LinkedIn Live. You have it. Most people don't. Um, you need to apply to get it. And it's a, it's a, lux it's a luxury to have a live. Mm -hmm. um, you're able to run a show and do things that other people can't do. Not everyone would want to. There are some people that can't even fathom doing a 10 second video with their phone. Yeah. But if you want to run a show and you don't have live, you can't force it. They'll mm -hmm. give it to you when they feel like giving it to you, if they ever give it to you. Yeah. And we were in that boat when it came to video. So everyone I knew had video and I didn't. And I was like, this is, this is insane. I, I can't tell you how many letters I wrote to LinkedIn when Jeff Wiener was CEO back when. Yeah, and I was like, "This is, you know, I feel like we're being penalized. It's it's hurting us, and we can be doing better." 
I finally uh, get video. And that's, that's where everything changed. Everything. Because now, like Chris's question that he just asked. Yeah. Now that, that question could be answered. Uh, we can answer that question, respond with a video. Yeah. Uh, TikTok. That's a great point. That's a great point because if someone asks a question, you can respond with a video specifically targeted at their question. That's pretty cool. And not, you know, and not a lot of this. Yeah. Because words are words, action is action. Um, any level, any any spectrum of business, what you say and what you do are two different things. What you say won't make someone trust you, but what you do will. Um, yeah. That's a winning formula right there. And so for me, video, when I'm really dug in, granted, I don't shoot all the videos. I don't mm -hmm. do all the videos. I'm not completely crazy. Um, we have help, but, yeah. but once I started to realize what we could do with video, I was like, this could be the one element that, that solves our problem, that, that makes this less complicated. Yeah. Um, that explains that there's a lid embedded in the bottom here, literally. And that is part of why the grip is so good. Yep. And all that stuff, you know, how does it form and all those things that we couldn't do in a, in a flat, in a flat shot. Yeah. And I think that that's why TikTok is taking off and has, we've amassed, I think, I think it's like 17 million views to date. How many? 17 million. Wow, that's a lot more because I mean, you, you've been bumping it up a lot since the last time I talked oh. to you because I think it was like six million the last time. We, no, we, we, uh, actually, no, you know, when I was on your show, it was closer to 12. Okay. So that's, that's, uh, so you went, so even though, even but then, was, I mean, oh, that was yeah. a few months ago, was it? Or when we were talking about that on the, yeah, we, we, we've gone viral, uh, a bunch of times. A wow. Lot of times. Wow. A lot of times. And we, we just went viral the other day. So I think it's still going, but. <laughs> <laughs> even, even on, uh, I have to shut those. I shut those off. Those notifications. Yeah, I was just going to flip up tip, flip up TikTok, but I know it'll get noisy if I do that because I was looking through your your profile, and I mean, you you got some obviously that go berserk, and you got, but you got a ton of them that have you know twenty, fifty, hundred thousand views on them, which which most people would just be loving that, and and it's and, and it's I awesome. have to say the ones that have fifty thousand were like. Didn't do so good. If 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 you got fifty thousand views on a video on LinkedIn, you'd be having like a, a a Mardi Gras celebration in your house. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's unheard of. I mean, exactly. unless, you, unless you put up some, you know, you take a video from another site that already got ten million views, and you know you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna you do. Know, we don't do that. We're original creators, so we yeah. don't. I don't post other people's innovations and other videos and. You know stuff like that, um, but yeah, I mean it's it's a very different algorithm. Yeah. But then we we have a bunch. I, I think maybe six, seven, eight that have two and a half million, six million, two million, two million, one million, three million. I'm like those. I mean those are exciting. Yeah, yeah, no those doubt. Keep you up all night long. Yeah, you're just watching the numbers. Just do, 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 do. I gotta imagine. You're, 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 you know, I'm, it's, what, you just see it. It's like one of those things that you see it on TV when they the numbers just go crazy. It's almost got to do that kind of thing. And people are writing, you know. I'm like, look, did you see? It just hit two. It hit three. Like you, you, you know, you're losing your mind. But you, it it gets less exciting. Yeah, yeah it happens sure. a couple times, and then you're like, all right, this is keeping me up all night, and I need to now shut off notifications because I can't get anything done. Yes. Even during the day, I shut LinkedIn not notifications off. I set aside a period of hours where I am not part of the LinkedIn world. Exactly. Can't be on there all day or nothing no. happens. Yeah. You know, yeah. you work for LinkedIn. I mean, you can't, I can't possibly get anything done if all day I'm checking, checking, checking. Yeah. You know, yeah, we that, that is very time. cool. Yeah. And like, don't you post at certain times on LinkedIn as well? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we post at a certain time, but I, I don't have the only, I mean, the only notifications I see on my phone is, is texts and if someone calls me because I, I shut off email, I shut off everything. everything. Yeah, you have to. You really yeah. have to. I think um, digital is great, but is as an amazing of a connector as it's been is, is as distracting and noisy. Yes. As it can be. Yes. And I mean, there are days it's happened to all of us. And I don't know if it's happened to you where the hours go by and you just don't know what happened. Exactly. Oh, and it's, yeah. o'clock and it's like the, it's the worst feeling. Yeah. Because you look at your to-do list and you look at the whiteboard behind me, which, which I cleaned, <laughs> I cleaned my whiteboard for you. Um, yeah. Most of it. Yeah. It, it was, looks good. It looks, it looks good. It looks good, but I realized it was me behind my head, and it was like, well, a some proprietary yeah things yeah. on there that I can't put out. Um, yeah. I would have gotten in trouble, but but I was like, well, this looks like a mess. You know, things in different colors going in every direction, <laughs> thoughts and conversations and dates and times and stuff to put in my calendar. And so yeah, I cleaned yep. it special for you. Look at that. It's so it, you can even see the ring light. Yeah, it's and it's clean as can be. That's a shine. So, uh, yeah. So, video, you know, it, it 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 it's motion. It moves the product. It also allows you to connect on a much deeper level. Um, yeah, that's where we started to really dive in. Like you've seen us, we shoot from the manufacturer. Yep. You know, I get I get in trouble for that sometimes because um, you know my my hair is on fully in the hairnet. You know, they're like, Bonnie, <laughs> put your hair back in the net. I'm like, it's in. It's it's, it's in kind of, you know, yeah. it's a horrible look, that hair net. Yeah. But I understand I can't walk around that whole place and, and you know, food and beverage location and have your yeah. hair all over. But it's nice because you can bring your customer behind the scenes. Yeah. And show them a little bit about what's going on, the team culture, the process, uh, a great day and, and a bad day. Yeah. Show the bad stuff too. You know, I don't like to paint this rosy picture, uh, glorifying this journey. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's everyone says, enjoy the journey. Yes. You have to, I mean, you have journey. to, there are a lot of days you're going to wish the journey didn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I don't care who you talk to, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You can talk to the most successful person in the world and they can tell you a hundred stories about when they just got kicked so hard, they didn't think they were ever going to get back up again. And and we have had, and I've been very open about it, you know, uh, we've had some big values along the way. Yeah. Flattened, yeah. flattened out right under the New York City street, uh, street sweeper, you know, Ooh. flattened. But what are you gonna do? You know, yeah. that's 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 the most honest moment for an entrepreneur. Is yeah. you, either you peel yourself up and you keep going, or you just lay there and play dead. Yeah. And yeah. then that's the end of the road. You know, that that's where it ends. So yeah. you have to be one tough it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> that's for sure. Chris says something good here. He said that Goals will come and go, but the journey will never be there again. And it's right. I mean, the you know, you go through these things and the people around you that go through it with you. And when you see those successes, they're just so sweet and so special because, you know, all you know, just you and that tight knit team know how much you put into that to get there. And how much pain and disappointment. Yes. There's so much disappointment. Uh I always say, like I've adopted this whole attitude about that word no. You know, and now when someone says no now, it's it's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's a more to me is why. Why? Yeah, there you go. On the the no, I want to hear why because perhaps that can help us. Mm -hmm. We could get better. We could figure out what the reason is. We could fix it. Mm -hmm. instead of crawling up in a sad little puddle, uh, you know, having a little pity party, 
Yeah. The no. The no doesn't deserve a party. That's so no. funny you said that about the pity party because I just read something this morning that, that it was an inspirational thing by uh, – uh, I forget the guy, the Hill, the guy that rode uh, Think and Grow Rich, but it says there's four parties I refuse to attend: a pity party, uh, a, a Patsy, Patsy party, a um, Pride right. Pride party, and a Pig party. So you know, you know, it's, it's just there's there's four parties, and the pity party was the first one. It says I'm not going to do that. So, uh, it's, but it's it right. you, the worst trap. Yeah. Yeah, because you are all going to get knocked down. And, and uh, you know, it, it is, as you said, you can just sit there and you can choose to let it knock you down and squish you into a little ball or you can yep. fight back and get back up. Yeah. Yeah. And I take phone calls all the time. Yeah. Entrepreneurs. I know there's a lot of people going to say, you know, time is not free. Don't give it away. I disagree. I yeah. think you need to give it as much as you can, as often as you can, and ask for nothing. Yeah. In return. Hundred okay. percent. That that is my bill of rights over here. I have a lot of people and other founders and other and they disagree. Yeah. Everyone has their own way. But I think that's the way to be. And it kind of carves out the kind of leader that you're gonna be uh, yeah. with the people that work with you as a team. Um, and I always say the same thing is if the no, if the pain, if the disappointment, if the pity party knocks you down and you can't get back up, then this isn't for you. It's just not. And maybe, yeah. you know, you, you need to do some, uh, learn more about yourself, more self-awareness because it's, it's a painful process. And, yeah. and the, and the more interesting it is, the harder it is. Meaning, and I'm not insulting anyone who makes potato chips right now. It's just an example that I use. I love potato chips. But there are some days, and it's kind of like an internal joke, and I'll be like, don't you wish we sold potato chips? Because that's easy to me. It's not easy. I know to the guy who founded a chip line, there's nothing easy about that at all. I get it. But it's different. You know, it's it's a different type of product. Whereas when you do something like this, you're literally creating a category mm -hmm. that doesn't exist. So not only do you have to explain it, defend it, demo it, uh, it's everything under the sun. You're trying to bring something into existence in the world yes. that isn't there. You're also changing human behavior. Mm -hmm. You're also changing corporate behavior. I mean, why don't we just, I mean, it's like, it's like a jambalaya of everything is in that yes. bucket. And I don't know what, I don't know what is spicier in there, but it's, it's a big pot of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. And you're right because you're, you're trying to, you've got a product that changes the way they think about people taking food out of their establishments, whether it's a drive through whether they're walking in or taking out and they, they've never contemplated doing that before. And yeah, exactly. You've nailed it on the head. And on top of that, there's nothing really more sacred to any of these brands than, op than the operation of their business. Yes. It's the lifeblood of everything they do. Mm -hmm. So when we come in, we're, we're kind of getting in there, you know, we're like, Hey, let's get married. Yeah. You know, not that way, obviously. Uh, you know, we're, we're not, rolling into a massive chain and rolling out across the country in a week. Yeah. Uh, no one does that. And we wouldn't want that. Uh, yeah. that's, not, that's not smart for anybody's purpose. No, no, no. Test and, and perfect and go. But we're still, you know, from a B2B standpoint, it's an operational product. Yeah. And yes, it's super simple to use, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't require uh, training and explanation. Yeah. Just how these, I can see a, a little child understanding what this does. But I just used it and somehow something went wrong. Yeah. I still don't know what. I don't even think I want to know what happened. <laughs> I'm terrified of these things. I, yeah. I, I, went, I, went, I went dark and dead on live. You know, I, my whole voice was gone. 
that could be a word, oh, well. but that's a perfect well, example. You know, you smile and just kind of you just keep you know, going with it. Exactly. You exactly. smile and you scream for the IT department, which yeah. right now is my husband. Yeah. I'm like IT. IT. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know they'll show up if they're your husband. Exactly. I know he'll show. He showed. Yep. He figured it out. And but uh, you know, I encourage everyone. I, I my my best advice would be that if you're not doing video and even if you don't have a product, everyone belongs on video. And that's, that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people are going to say, no, I do not belong on video in any sense. I don't think LinkedIn's video uh, capacity in, in terms of users, mm -hmm. it's never going to get to 30%, 50%. No. No. Never. But yeah. according to LinkedIn, it's at like 2%. Yeah. It got up there. It used to be 1%. Yeah. But it's it's such a white space. And there's such a huge opportunity to, to get your audience. Again, you have to be engaging. You have to do things that they want to hear, see, be it education, innovation, imagination, creation, whatever it is that you're doing, mm -hmm. it's got to be something that adds value to to maybe the minute that they're going to spare you. If they spare you that minute, you know, 60 seconds on LinkedIn is a yeah. nice offer. It is. It Usually is. it's, you know, link, there's a reason why LinkedIn only counts, they count three seconds as a view. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a scary thought when you think about it. It is. Yeah, three, three seconds, seconds consistent. Three seconds, you barely got through the intro. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even hardly. Yeah. That's for or sure. Or three seconds could be on the outro. Yeah. They couldn't see anything you were saying. Yeah. So that's a good point because they can listen. They can listen <laughs> to the intro or and go, I'm done. And it's a view. And it's the same content. It's like all these great guys that create, um, that create content. I mean, there's so many great yeah. creators out there that, that I try to emulate. I think we all do because yeah. they're so good at it. And it's that, that hook line in, you know, that, that top sentence. Mm -hmm. It's huge because it if is. someone doesn't like that, they're not clicking they're on it. They're the rest away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's the same with video. So if the video starts off with, you know, good morning, what a day. Oof. Okay. So let's get into it. It's like 30 seconds in, you've said nothing. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's like... My best advice is like get to the point and get there fast. Yes. Really quickly. And we've learned our lesson. We learned, we used to do the videos and we would do all kinds of things leading you to the big moment. Now we just, we just go right in there. Yeah. Um, don't waste time, make time, just go right for it. Because if we don't do that, no one's going to stick around. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's such an asset really is. And if you're terrified, if you're out there and you're, you're just scared like hell to do video, do it, do it, uh, do it in your room, do it in your yeah. car. The car is a very safe place to try yeah, it out. It is. It is. Um, I do some videos in the car. That's because I'm, I'm often in the car a little mm -hmm. less now than I used to be. Yeah. Where are any of us going these days? Yeah. But I still go, you know, I'll go to the manufacturer, I'll go here, I'll go there. I have to go certain places. Mm -hmm. But the, the, it's, it's really quiet and you can kind of, you know, play with your angles on how you look and play with the tone of your voice and try and get it right. And then use that as like a testing ground yeah. in the beginning. Then from there, get a little bolder, go into the street. You should see me now. I mean... When I started out, I was terrified, right? So I did it in the car. Let me show you this. This is how bold I've become. So this is a, um, it's, it's like a slinky. Yeah. It goes around your neck. And then <laughs> this goes right in here. Yeah. The, the sad part for this is I thought of this in a dream. And when oh I went my. to see if I could like make it and patent it, um, I found out someone else is ahead of me. Look at that. 
Yeah. And you could pull it out. So now I went from, you know, the shy person in the car who's terrified of video to walking through the street. I mean, imagine when people walk past you, yeah. what they must think. Yeah. What are the, what she got on in front of her? And I'm, you know, and I'm walking and I, and of course I've got this. So I'm like, yeah. you know, and usually it's, it's, it's usually further out. Like I'll put it out here, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'm walking around and I got this and people are walking by and you're like crazy lady with the crazy phone around her neck <laughs> and the phone holder and Let's add crazy and then crazy sauce to the crazy. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. What's in her hand? <laughs> Could you look any crazier? Yeah. So, you know, this is this is I don't care how introverted you, you think you are. Mm -hmm. You can you can come out of that uh, in a very big, big way and and really surprise yourself. Yeah. On what you're willing to do. And I think the more passionate you are about what you do and the yes. more you love what you do, uh, it, it kind of becomes a non question. It's, it's not a question if it's going to get done. Yeah. It's just a matter of timing, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's, that's what I didn't know in the beginning. I don't think any mm -hmm. entrepreneurs know that. No, you no, know? I agree. You know, we, I was just talking today on uh, we did I was, we do another live and you know it's on Thursday mornings and and I was I was looking back to last year and this week was actually the first week that we did one in 2020 and I had never other than on video calls I had never done video before and it took me about six months last year I think before I even watched any videos that I made and did you feel totally oh just like, just awkward. Yeah. It was just like, I, what am I watching myself for? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. That's, that's the thing is you, there's an element of it where you kind of feel like, um, I don't know, like who, am I, who am I? Yeah. Who yeah. am I to be on video? Yeah. Speaking to this gigantic audience. If you want to really scare yourself, you're yeah. putting it to 750 million people. Yeah. That's how many users LinkedIn has. And sometimes it goes further. Because of the other platforms that you can tie into StreamYard. Yeah. Right? So you could be uh, it could be going on Facebook. We are now. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> and it could be on Instagram Reels. Uh, yep. It could be on or Stories. It could be could be on lots of things. Yeah. So it is a scary notion, but I feel like you, you kind of have to just black it out. It's like mm -hmm. when you – it's like if you speak to if, uh, anyone famous who's ever gotten an award – Right, an Oscar, a Grammy, and this or that. Um, we've been fortunate enough to know a few people in our lifetime, and you know what they say? I didn't see anything. Like it's so bright, yeah. That you can barely see what's going on out there, you know? Yeah. So it's like if you're giving a speech, you know, and you can't really see so much. There's bright lights. There's a huge crowd, and it's scary, but at the same time, you know, pretend that there's no one there. Yeah. And you're talking to a, a, a room of empty air. Mm -hmm. And it's not much different than that. You yeah. know, if I could see all the people right now watching me, mm -hmm. I would be terrified. Yeah. But I can only see you. Yeah. And that's what I like about the live and, and this interactions like we have here with a few people on because it's, it's so nice because – for me, I feel like we're we're having a conversation, and it's you and I in a room, and and yeah, we see the the comments rolling, but that's really what I see, and that's why it's it feels comfortable for me when I do it. Yeah, it's it's, and you know, what's nice about live is so many people go back. Um, of course, it's always great to get a crowd while you're running live, mm -hmm. but people come back. Yeah, you know, that's the tough thing about video. And that's another element is, is the timing. Yeah. You know, you put something up at a time that doesn't work. They're not going to show no matter what you do. Yeah. You know, exactly. unless you're giving away gold, you know, gold bars, they'll find a way to show up. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you know, uh, stock certificates or then they'll show, but, yeah. but doesn't mean they're not going to come back.
later that's on. That's for sure. That's for know, sure. And watch it. So that's for sure. So I've got a couple of questions. You this let's yeah. here. We've been we've been on about an hour and 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 I don't I don't mean to rush, but it's a great conversation. But I want to make sure we include some of the stuff. You said something about e-commerce. So you guys are you guys planning on uh you know going on to Amazon or something like that? What are you gonna do? We are. I'm gonna show you something. Yeah, yeah, let's see it. Because I'm excited about that. I mean, you know, obviously, not obviously, but we do a bit of work in e-commerce and, and it's always uh, always fun to see people taking off. We have a big plan for e-commerce. Really yeah. big. Um, I will tell you that I, it's very complicated. It is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. It's enough to drain the life out of you. Yes, uh, it will. I didn't, you know, it's like a whole new business. Yeah. I mean, literally. So we are, there are two elements of e-commerce that we have decided to go after. One is we don't feel that we are serving the needs of small businesses mm -hmm. in B2B. So thousands upon thousands upon thousands, what, what this country was built on, uh, of small businesses. And they don't perhaps want to spend money on pallets they want to buy uh you know let's buy a case of the 32 with a 30 ounce lid yeah let's let's buy one case of the 20 ounce let's buy one case of their 24 um and try it out if we love it we can order more but we don't need to lay out x amount of thousands right this minute yeah right yeah. or yeah. go on terms or whatnot yeah and so we realize, and especially during this pandemic, the economic element is, uh, can't look away from that. That's, yeah. that's impossible. So I feel like, I feel like I'm doing a good job as, as an organization, then we should be making it accessible to the masses. And the only way to do that is really through e-commerce. Yeah. Because, you know, yes, distributors, of course, but even still, distributors will take in pallets for a customer but you still need to take that product you mm -hmm. know on a weekly bi-weekly basis so you don't have that's not the same flexibility yeah of deciding that we tested it and uh we're low on money right now as a business so mm -hmm. we're going to take a break and bring it back for another lto in a month you know and get our cash flow back in order so i want to be able to serve that need we get yeah. dozens of requests every day. Yeah. Through our website, on LinkedIn, hi Bonnie, et cetera, et cetera. Is there any way we can just order a couple cases of product? Yeah. And we'll pay right now. Yeah. And I realized we only ship pallets. And our our come where we manufacture, we manufacture out of New York actually. Yeah. They don't that's they're not in the pick and pack business. They yeah. don't do that. So no, I guess no, you can't. But now you can. So we're doing that. Nice. We're making that up. We're uh, redoing our website. It needs a lobotomy. Yeah. It might need a heart surgery after the lobotomy, and then another lobotomy. But yeah. uh, it's going to have a lot of procedures done currently, and uh, it should be a couple weeks. We're we're making okay. progress. We're going to link that with Shopify. Yeah. Uh, so you think so customer can go on. Boom, boom, boom. There's a how to video. There's a video with all the pit hole, you know, pitfalls that I showed last night. Yeah. Yeah. Does it tip? Does it this? Does it that? All the questions are answered in 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be there. Uh, how to use it, menu suggestions, combo creations, what does well, what, what, you know, what we see as being the biggest success options yes. for the GoLids combos and the ones that aren't as popular. Yeah. As much as we could give. And then what I'm really excited about also is we're putting out a uh, consumer package. So this is what it's going to look like. Not, it, this, we're not putting out a white box. Don't get nervous. We have, a, we have someone doing phenomenal graphics. Um, go lids, and it's going to be compatible with their favorite brands. Nice. So it's going to be graphics and a how-to graph all along the side. Recycled materials, reusable, reuse, 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 reuse. We are going to 
knock that home as hard as possible. Because yeah. if nothing you saw last night, we, we hit that, that go lid, we hit it with a mallet twice and then, and then a hammer yeah. two times and nothing happened. So yeah. there's no reason to use this and chuck it in the garbage. Yeah. Um, it's and that's just, a great thing. That's a great thing. I it's mean, just, it's, it's why, why, why waste it? Yeah. You know? Um, even stadiums we're talking to for preparing when they come back beyond 10%, yeah. you know, really come back. But yeah, why not take it home? Why not yeah. keep it? Yeah. You know, people love novel things and they love yeah. finding what's late, what's the latest and greatest newest innovations and creations so yeah. we don't want to put it out as a product that goes in the garbage can yeah um I, we wash them out and reuse them all the time nice and and i know so many people we've given lids to uh, friends family linkedin friends linkedin connections relationship they still have them they're still using the same ones you've got hot water soap scrub daddy or whatever yeah. you have you lay it flat they're not machine washable, so no dishwasher. Yeah. And then they dry. Voila. The only time I would suggest we're going to put this on the box too, if it's covered in cheese sauce or gravy or cookie dough or something cookie, yeah. maybe maybe you do want to throw it away. Yeah. If it's, if it's a bagel, if it's, you know, some donuts, if it's a muffin. And there's some crumbs in there. Keep it. Yeah. So yeah, so there's gonna be a package like this. We're gonna have six. Nice. How do we come up with six? Don't know. Um it's a nice amount though when you think well, about it. Well, we said four. First we said four because the average American family uh yeah. has four. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're, we're gonna ship to US and Canada. Okay. But we're we're for the moment not doing international yeah canada but not beyond yeah. uh, we're keeping it close to the vest for the moment we Very just good. don't want it to, we don't want it to get out of control yeah. where we're shipping to every country mm -hmm. so usa canada nice keep us pretty busy yeah you, so you, you got a lot of good stuff coming up but and and uh this is this will really be able to help, like you said, get your product to those small business owners that want to try out something different that will help their business. Yeah. And and you know, the consumer angle after we've done now that we're we did TikTok and we got that many views and that many buy now requests. Yeah. I mean, where can we buy these? Where can we buy these? It's like someone sticking a needle in my eye. Yeah. Because the answer at the moment in time was nowhere. Yeah. I can't send you to an Amazon link where you can purchase a pack for your home. Yeah. But God, it was torturing me. Really torturing me. And we were already working on it, but I was like, oh, how do we speed up the process? Like, this yeah. is going too slow. Who? Someone's not doing something. <laughs> we have to go faster. Yeah. But not at the expense of disastrous mistakes. It's, yeah, it's hard. Um, there's a lot of details. Uh, there's there's FDA stuff you got to put. There's all kinds of stuff and details and going to make some mistakes, guaranteed. You always do. But um, yeah. we have a compatibility grid. So, like, let's say you get a pack of, like, 32-ounce lids. There's going to be a list of compatible, what it's compatible with. Yeah. Yeah, Makes there's a lot to it. That's for sure. A lot of details. And so oh man, we, you know we want to do it right, so we don't we don't wind up with, uh, you know, a, a bevy of horrific Amazon reviews. Yeah, that's for sure. That's you for know, sure. You know, explained it to us. I think I watch these kids, these Gen Zs, at the drive-throughs, their favorite places that they go to, and you should see what they do in the car. I mean, they're mixing foods, they're adding sauces, they're creating their own recipes and so i don't see you know yeah they'll they'll definitely take this take off the lid and clip this on yeah. um it also allows you to get out of the car go to the park mm -hmm. this this is probably the number one thing that uh 
is talked about in every conversation out of the gate is the cover. Yeah. Well, and yeah, it being it being good. I think of going to the ballpark and and grabbing a beer and grabbing a sandwich or whatever, a hot dog, a couple hot dogs, and put it in there, and being able to walk to your seat at, with a free with a, either cell phone in hand or a free hand even, or a hand if you got a little kid to hold the kid in your hand, which you have to do obviously at the park. Yeah. So it's a it's really I mean it's really and not to mention what are you gonna do when you're at the park. And you got two hot dogs, and the guy behind you, he's coughing. Mm, yeah, there's a lot of that. Ew. So, this is what you yep. can do. Yep. Yeah. You know, and that's that's an expensive combo. Yeah. You know, you're not buying a combo at the ballpark for you know seven seven dollars. No, no. At uh, you know, here like they'll give you the souvenir cup. Yeah. I'm sure that that's not your team. No, I can appreciate it, exactly. but it's Don't not worry. my team. That's the Braves. It's not my team either. Yeah. Yes, it is. I love the Braves. Um, <laughs> this is just for a presentation. Yes. Um, but, you know, but this is expensive. Yeah. The cup yeah. alone, the cup alone yeah. is $8. Yes. Before yes. the food and the drink and, yeah. then, and then this. and Yeah. You know, if you're lucky, it's $8. And if you're lucky, it's eight dollars. If you're lucky, it's eight dollars. Yeah. yeah. And they can really maximize it because now you you know they can put they can put four of those in a tray. Yeah. Right. So you can yep. go get a tray of four and hand them out, and they're covered and protected and safe and convenient, yeah. and everybody's happy. Yeah. So I'm all about yeah. happy people. Yeah, it's good stuff. If we can, Money, if, if we can so add something to the world and make people happy and make their days even you know, two percent easier, one percent easier. Then I, in my opinion, we've done we've done a good job. So yeah, that's awesome. And and your product is really cool. And I, I just you. You, the the way that you guys use video is awesome. And if if, if <laughs> people haven't I haven't gone on, you got to go to TikTok and look <laughs> at GoLids or get on LinkedIn. Uh, connect with Bonnie if you want to talk to her. Go to GoLids.com check out the stuff it is so awesome bonnie thank I you i appreciate you being here today how can people get a hold of you if they need to get a hold of you uh you know i i am one of those people that i really try to get back to everybody so okay. i have my business email okay listed on my profile okay good um, not some gmail account it's actually yep. the email that goes to me and DM, you can always DM and you there can you always go. send me a connection request. Yep. You know, I'm uh I'm very I'm very open to to connecting. Awesome. And uh, you know, we don't we don't hide. And then there's always the website. Yep. So we get a ton of requests and letters through info at golids.com. Uh cool. the mail comes through there, so there's always a way. Very good. Very good. Well, I know Chris, Chris Webb said that he had sent you a connection request in the messages somewhere here, here. So you'll see that when you get off, but thanks again. Cool. I've got Bonnie Sussman Strominger with me today from Go Lids talking about video. She's a video queen killing it on TikTok. Guy like what? 12 plus million views showing us how her product is used and showing us how you can use video to create a connection and build a brand. Thanks so much for being here, Bonnie. My I pleasure. I want to add a, add a footnote. I don't need everything that's in here. <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't need any of it, actually. Um, yeah. It's really, it's really for show because everyone's always like, wow, you really treat yourself well. I'm like, no, I don't need it. <laughs> it. But not, you know, not a lot of it. Oh, great stuff. So, Thanks thank a lot. Thanks for having me. It's been a real pleasure. You bet. We're going to jump off LinkedIn live here and come back next Tuesday. We've got more guests on Tuesday and Thursday next week on the Faces of Business. See you later.